Pickles. Yeah, so while having your sabzi and roti, you can have it along with that. Yeah, so let's do some of that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? David Hoffman here from David's Been Here in beautiful Ahmedabad, Gujarat, India. I'm here with my friend Rutu from You Eat Me Insane. You Eat Me Insane. Yes, that's it's, it's a tongue twister. Um, and yeah, so today we're gonna go to eat a delicious Gujarati tali. And for most of you who don't know what a tali is, it's basically a big plate. Yeah. Full of... Uh, sabzi, farsan, mishtan. You have everything, you know, combined. A big, huge platter. And the Gujarati tali yes. is does it is rice or paratas? Uh, rice, paratas, everything. So it's a mix. Sweet, yeah. You have something. You Sweet. Have everything. Together. Oh wow. We're also starting the tour here at Gandhi's house. If you guys don't know who Gandhi is, he was basically the father of India. He was a freedom fighter and he fought with peace, no guns, and that's how this country was born. Yes. He basically put together the country, right? Yes, yes, exactly. Father of the nation. And he stayed here for a lot of years with his wife, Kasurba. And uh, you will uh, go and see his place where he used to stay. And the entire place, he sta stayed near the Sabarmati River. Okay, wow. Yeah. And he, he and he was a Gujarati. I mean, uh, he was a Gujarati. Say. And the moment you just take out the cash, okay, Gujarati, any currency, you have his photo. So every single bill in India, yeah. his face is on it. Yes. Obviously, it's, it's like George Washington for America. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go explore his house. Something really, really interesting about Medabad is that all the attractions are basically free entrance. As soon as you enter the house, as you can see, this is the kitchen area. This is where he used to have a stove. And then I guess everything was around here, but it's pretty empty right now. There's just some artifacts, as you can see right there. Then once we pass through, we get to a terrace. Nice, beautiful terrace. And that right there on the right side was actually the entrance to the house. And then in front of us, we have his wife's room. The next room is a guest room. And then if we go back to the entrance, that's his terrace overlooking the river. Very simple house. Obviously, he was a simple man. A lot of good history here. Definitely worth visiting. One thing I love about Gandhi is, is reading all his quotes. He's very, very into humanity and basically talking about how we're all equal. All men and women are created equal. Everybody has to believe that. And over here to the right, we have Gandhi's room. And inside, you could see where he used to sit and spindle his clothes. And we actually got a demonstration right here to the left on how he used to do it. And here we are. I and mean, basically, you can't go inside the room. He has like a wired door and there's a lock on it. That's where he used to sit. Okay, so Gandhi's house is very simple. He believed in simplicity, and if you could see, uh, he used he made his own clothes. He had limited amount of even vessels. He believed he had three monkeys, the idols. If you have seen uh, there, okay, he believed in uh, that signifies uh, don't hear something bad, don't speak something bad, and don't listen to something bad. Right now, if you see even the guest room, it's very simple. Okay, there was no fan. If you go to see, okay, the entire house has no fan. You believe in that simple life. Once you're done visiting Gandhi's house, walk over here to the riverfront and see the view that he used to have. I mean, this is just beautiful. Obviously, they changed this, they added this boardwalk, super long boardwalk. It's pretty empty right now. I think the only reason for that is because of the heat. It's really hot, it's like 95 degrees Fahrenheit. But yeah, beautiful view, lots and lots of fresh air here. And now, uh, where are we going next? We know about Bhavis, he was a disciple of Gandhi and also a freedom fighter. He had a lot to the freedom struggle and he would rather live here when he would visit Gandhi to the Gandhi Ashram and this is the place where he would live. So let's come on check this out too. Museum. Museum? Yeah. So we see a lot of things that Gandhi did. A lot of things that Gandhi did, Gandhi had, Gandhi stuff, you know, all the stuff. The father of India. Yeah, the father of the nation. He always used to preach peace. And that was his motive to spread peace all over the world. Yeah. That was his basic motto. One of the things that I've seen in all his quotes is that he always says, like, basically, you were all created equal. Yeah. Everybody. He would, he would believe in simplicity to the best. I mean, always live a single, uh, lead a single, simple life. And yeah, that's what he would preach others to, to live a simple life. Everything is, you know, they give you, you know, what, exactly why Gandhiji was here, uh, why he moved to Ahmedabad, and you know, what did he believe in? Uh, the, the, it shows the journey of Gandhiji, you know, how he came here, how he became the freedom fighter, and everything. We saw Gandhi's house. It's really amazing. 
Let's go eat some Gujarati Thali. Let's do it. We've arrived here at Agashi. It's a fine gourmet dining restaurant or gourmet fine dining restaurant. And this is where we're having a giant, a giant Gujarati Thali. Finally. Finally. I'm excited because I've had it in Pune. I had it in Hyderabad. Where else? I had it in, uh, no, not China. I, I had it in Rajasthan, yeah, but a small one. The, the Pune one was giant. It was like, oh, what is it? Yeah, yeah. Too good, too good. I've had Southern Thali. I've had Pune Thali. I've had Northern Thali. I've never had a Thali like this. This is just insane. Insane, it, yes. We have so many things. So we have the tali right here, the main section of the tali, right? Then we have, you know, some appetizers, salad, chutneys. So what do we have? Let's just go through it really fast. Yes. So uh, typical Gujarati tali consists of uh, farsan and mishtan. Farsan means kachori, khaman, and dhokla. Okay. Okay. And mishtan means mohan thal, basudi. Uh, we we also have chash, as I told you. Yeah. Uh, buttermilk. Every you know in. In our every lunch, yes, exactly. Uh, we go about with uh, the rotis. There are three types of rotis right now. Uh, roti, bhakri and puri. Okay, so we can just put in some uh, makhan, homemade. So makhan. Bhakri. Makhan is basically butter or ghee yeah. in Gujarati. So you put on this one? Uh, put on this one. On this one, okay. Yes. It's like bhakri rotla. So it's okay. all over? Yeah. Oh my god, this is intense. <laughs> yes. All right. Okay, you can take any of the sabzi. We have four types of sabzis here. Uh, aloo, we have moong, cauliflower, brinjal. This is bangan ka bharta. So sabzi is basically curries or? Yes, curries. Curries, okay. Yes. So I guess I'll try like this first with this one. Moong, oh yeah, pulse. That's lentils, right? Yes. Mmm. Mm -hmm. It's amazing, but I think there's too much butter on this. <laughs> Like way too much butter. You have pickles? You have a favorite pickle here? My favorite right here. Yes. Mirchi pickle. No, you know what? I don't want to destroy a powder right now. Let me, let me, <laughs> let me hold off on that. Okay. So I'm going to get some more of this and you want me to get it on this, the aloo? Yes. So grab it into the aloo right there. Oh, aloo is potatoes. Yes. In case you guys haven't been watching. Oh, right there. Wow. Mmm. Love it. Mmm. Yeah. yeah, very tasty. Not spicy at all. Has like a almost like a potato mask because it's so soft. Yes. But then you have all these little ingredients on the sides. Mmm. So wow. now we can go with the, the brinjal one. It's called bagan ka bharta. Bagan ka bharta. Yeah. You will have a smoky flavor to it. Okay. Okay. So you'll get it. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, you have typically you have it this with rotla. This goes with the combination. Wow. That's so good. You know, I've had something like this before in Rajasthan. Okay. Uh, the taste of it, it's spinach, right? Uh, or no? No, no, no spinach. So what, what is it? It's the, brinjal. Is this eggplant? Yes, that's eggplant. Mmm. You have coriander to it, you have tomatoes. I mean, I'm sorry. Everything is so many things that I've uh -huh. got that was eggplant. Okay. Wow. That is so good. Sugar? So good. So what's next? The cauliflower? Yeah. Cauliflower. Oh. <laughs> A little hotter. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. a bit spicy. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, it's great. This is amazing. Oh, it's very delicious. <laughs> I haven't had it this though. That's sweet. That's sweet. Yes, so that's a little, sweet. Yeah. Bit of this. Shira, we see. Super huh? sweet. Mm. It's like a rice pudding. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so this one's dal. So we basically have dal rice roti sabzi. Okay. Okay, so you can say gravy with the rice. Mm. Not a gravy, but dal. Yeah. It's more like a gravy. Yes. It's more soupy. I mean, you obviously can yes. taste the lentils. What about, what about this yeah. one? But this is a Gujarati dal. Okay, so we have, you know, India has, uh, the entire India eats dal. Okay, but they, the preparation is different. Kati. Yes. That's made with curd. That's a Gujarati kati. Mm. Okay. Also a little sweet. Yes, mm. a bit sweet. Tastes similar to the sour. Yes. Buttermilk? Because the preparation is quite similar. Okay. Okay, but this is heated and the, it's, it has spices to it as well. Okay. That doesn't contain any spices. Well, what about this one? Uh, that's a uh, sweet. This is dessert. Oh, so that's later? Yeah, later. Okay. okay. You can have the roti as well. 
This so, is the roti, yeah. Uh, sorry, that went so like? good. Mmm. <laughs> huh. Yeah. Amazing. Just have a roti with any of the sabzi. With any of them, huh? Yes. But I really enjoyed the cauliflower one as well. Mm. I think you like it. Nice roti. This roti is like a pita. Yeah. <laughs> kachori. Okay. Yeah, so I kachori, which is chutney. Yes. And it's like a thicker red chutney. Mm. It's like the the one we had yesterday. It's a little sweet though. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's inside it? Potatoes? Yes. Also something green. Yeah. So that would be peas. Oh, it's peas, right? Yes. So potatoes, peas. I love this. I love this. Uh, this chutney here. That's tamarind chutney. Tamarind. Tamarind. Tam tamarind. Yeah, yeah. It's it's way better than this tomato chutney. I like this. This. Uh, I think that's a sweet thing. Yes. That's sweet to it. Mmm. You haven't tasted that actually. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> what do we have here? That's dokla. The dokla. Yes. Mm. So we haven't tasted that in the entire trip, and. <clears throat> Mm. Mm -hmm. Very soft, okay. very spongy. Not too sweet, but just enough. Oh, it's amazing. Uh, yeah. This is papri. Papri. Yeah, so papri is uh, a thing in Gujarat. Okay. So, like with papar, it's just like that. Big chip. Yes. Okay, and what do we do with this? Just eat it like that. Like a papar, you eat it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Very airy, it just like breaks off in your mouth. It disintegrates. It's just like yeah. with, with the. You know where you're slapping everything? It's like that. Oh. And do you do it like mix it with all this stuff too or no? <laughs> yeah. You can. Mm. Yeah, bro, like that. Good. What else do we have? Do the pickles. Pickles. Yeah, so while having your sabzi and roti, you can have it along with that. Yeah, so it's just some of that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> This is mango. The other one, the other one felt like straight pickles, <laughs> like pickles, spicy pickles. Or a lemon one. I'm thinking. Good. Mango. Mango, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Very sweet. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you want the water? No, I'm gonna have this to cool it down. Buttermilk. It always just like destroys <laughs> the heat. It says no more heat. <laughs> What's so coming. Coming. Yep. And I put it into mint chutney. Yes. Oh yeah, right there. Mm. A little spongy as well. Mm. Minty. It's thicker than this one. Yes. Mm. Juicy. It's yeah, definitely juicy. There's like a moistness to it. Wow. I think you have come. You had come on the entire trip, like three times. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. A lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> this is raita. Right, I have it here. So how do I get it? All right, so spoon. So raita. It's basically yogurt, right? Yes. Right there. Mmm. The pomegranate on top. Mmm. It's just for garnishing. Yeah. I mean, it's another like sour yogurt. Yeah. No. Very pure. Exactly. Mmm. Very good. Cucumbers as well. Yes. Mmm. Mmm. Nice. That, that tastes like a very uh, Greek dish. Like <laughs> Greek like yogurt. So. Greek yogurt. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you want to taste the desert? The mohantar. This one? Yeah. Mohantar. Yeah. Baklava. That is the yeah, best. Yeah, with the Greek. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Baklava. Baklava. Mm. Right? Oh, I love it. <laughs> so much sugar. Mm. E. E. Almost feels like there's a lot of honey in it as well. Yes. Wow. That's freaking fantastic. And I like it like this because it's like a huge chunk of it right there. <laughs> oh, I'm still feeling the heat from the pickle. What's next? You want basadi? Basadi. Yes. Oh. So that is uh, it's made by you know boiling the milk, mm -hmm. like oh. boiling, boiling, boiling until it becomes half, and adding sugar to it. It's concentrated milk, yes. basically. Mm, very thick, feels a little ricey as well. Yes. Oh, this is amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'll have some salad. Let's try the salad. I really went through everything fast, right? All right, so basically the salad is uh, tomatoes, cucumbers. Uh, carrots. carrots and then I think it's green peppers. Yes, capsicums we eat it to you. Okay, let's grab some here like this. Mm. Yes. Very refreshing. Mm. Mm. The only thing it's missing is feta cheese. <laughs> Not cottage cheese. Beetroot and uh, and prunes. Yes, yes. 
Oh, super refreshing, especially in this heat outside right now. It's like 95 degrees. And if you guys didn't see the restaurant, this amazing restaurant, fine dining. It's pretty cool. There's a hotel here, obviously. And then you go to the second floor, and here we are at the restaurant. And I gotta tell you, this is fantastic. I think the only thing I'm missing right now is one of these. That must be hot. Lightly. Pickle. That's pickle. That's pickle, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's like. How's the sweet? How's the sweet? I don't want sweets, I want, I want savory. Yeah. You want one more? No. Oh, so we have something left? Yes. What's left? That's kichuri. What's kichuri? Uh, kichuri is basically rice. Rice? Yeah, and it's quite healthy. Very healthy. In fact, if you're, yeah, Indian way of uh, making, you know, uh, rice. Why would you do that, dude? Plain <laughs> <laughs> rice. Wow. Then this. What do we do? Okay, so basically we have dal and rice. Okay. So every uh, house they'll uh, add yeah. for the lunch, yeah, exactly. Nice. The basic, uh, you know, lunches, dal, rice. Yeah, that's the Indian way. I know. I'm Indian now. Yeah. I've spent six weeks of my life in India this year. You want I some feel like ghee? No, no ghee. You make my waist behind you. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. No, no, yes. don't tell me that. Mmm. <laughs> Good? Oh. Yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, this, this dal is nice, soupy, not spicy, good spices. Oh. So, Chirali dal is basically a bit spicy with tangy, you know, a bit tangy, a bit sweet. Mm -hmm. It's a combination of various uh, yeah, tastes to it. But I haven't tried this yet. That's kitchari, you can have the kadi with it. The curry? The kadi. Oh, the kadi. Yes. With that? Is yeah. that okay? Yeah, we have it. Best when you're not feeling well. Okay. It's like a polenta, but almost like a risotto as well. Oh. So it's rice. It's very moist. Yes. Very like a, I guess juicy. And then this thing, if it's still really hot, by the way. Yes. And this thing, let me see again. <laughs> well, yeah. Right. That has like butter in there. <laughs> a lot of butter. Oh. Okay, one more bite, one more bite. <laughs> I think I'm done with my tally. Ah, uh, you left the butter. I don't know. You can have it. You want it? No, I'll have it later on. Yeah, yeah. She's the queen of buttermilk. She like every time we see a buttermilk, she's like, oh yeah, I want two. <laughs> David, this royal Gujarati feast has been like next level. Like so many different flavors. Um, I'm struggling to even decide what to show you guys. I think this is one of my favorites right down here. This is basically a vegetable curry. So I'm just grabbing my roti, which has smothered in butter. And this is fun finger food. You just put it in like this, pop it into your mouth. Mm. So many different flavors. It's not too spicy, you really taste the cauliflower. And my second favorite thing to have was actually over here. This is like, oh my gosh, it's just like basically eating baklava. So one really interesting thing about the Gujarati Thali is you can alternate between savory and sweet. It's not like you're supposed to clear all of your savories first before you go to the sweets, whatever you want. So you can just be like, I want something sweet, I want something savory. And I think that's totally awesome. Oh my God, what a day it's been. We saw Gandhi's house, and then we came here to have a delicious Gujarati Thali. <laughs> I mean, it was so good, so many different flavors. You had spice, you had uh, fried, you had crunch, you had sweet, sour, and yeah, I mean, it's fantastic. It's all around amazing meal. This one cost 1,500, so around 22 US dollars around there. So, I mean, look at this. Look at what you get for, for 22 US dollars. It really is an explosion and it's unlimited. So if you finish something and you want more, you get more, but definitely don't waste it. If, if you're really done, don't get any, any extra. They actually say that, you know, don't just go throwing away food, right? And yeah, I mean, I loved it. And next time you come to Medabad, when you come to Medabad, you have to come here and have a Gujarati Tali. It's a must, delicious, delicious meal. And visit Gandhi's house, the freedom fighter, the father of India. And guys, I hope you love this video. If you did, give it a th way thumbs up to the top. Comment. Give me a comment, comment forever. <laughs> and uh, subscribe to You Eat Me Insane. Subscribe to Sam, my boy behind the camera. And subscribe to me, and I'll see you on the next travel food adventure through incredible India. Peace. <laughs>